Alright, this is third grade, module 5, lesson 8, and we are representing parts of one whole as fractions, but this time we're going to be using number bonds. Now, parents and teachers, you guys probably have not experienced number bonds when you were growing up, and the idea of number bonds is to understand, uh, to help students understand that fractions, and really numbers in general, can be decomposed into smaller parts. For example, the whole number, 5, can be decomposed into 4 plus 1. And that's not the only way that uh, the number 5 can be decomposed into a number bond. Another way could have been like 2 plus 3. Three. So these are number bonds showing a couple of different ways that 5 can be decomposed. We're going to be doing the same thing with fractions. It's worth the battle because this skill will be really useful as students continue their um, efforts to learn fractions in 4th and 5th grade. So let's get started. So here it says, show a number bond representing what is shaded and unshaded in each of the figures. And then it asks us to draw a different visual model that would be represented by the same number bond. So let's start with identifying how many parts this is. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. So our whole and I'll do it down here, our whole has been broken up into sevenths. And the shaded, let's see there, one, two, three, four, five. So the shaded is five-sevenths, while the unshaded is two-sevenths. Now they're asking us also to draw a different visual model that would represent, that would go with this number bond. So, uh, five sevenths is shaded, two sevenths is unshaded. You know, I think I'll just do my nice tape diagram here. So here's our tape diagram, and we have to cut this into seven equal size pieces, because that's what the denominator says. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pretty good. Now we're going to draw the 5 sevenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is the 5 sevenths, and here is the 2 sevenths. And we're going to shade in 5 sevenths. And then we're going to leave unshaded the 2 sevenths. All right, this is the same problem, but a different geometric figure. And I included this one because, I, I don't know, I just thought it was kind of sneaky, kind of tricky. It says, uh, draw a number bond for what is shaded and unshaded. All right, so our number bond is, of course, going to begin with the number 1. And we can see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pieces total, but nothing has been shaded. So our number bond is going to be 0 eighths is shaded and 8 eighths is unshaded. All right, that, I included this problem just because I thought that's a little on the sneaky side. Now we're going to draw a different visual model that would, represent, that would be represented by that same number bond. And uh, so once again, oh, you know, I think what I'll do this time, let's do it a little bit different. Sort of look like a tape diagram, but let's do this. There's my eight. All right. And uh, we're going to shade in zero eighths. And then we're going to leave unshaded eight eighths. So there we go. I'm done. There's my different visual model. So this one is kind of the same story same stuff. It says, draw a number bond with two parts showing the shaded and unshaded fraction for each figure. All right. And then it says, decompose both parts of the number bond into unit fractions. All right. So that's the extra step that's uh, 
going to look a little bit different. And let's just do problem B. That's good enough. So the first thing it says is write a number bond for the shaded and unshaded. All right, so here's my number one. There's my one hole. Shaded is, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So it's out of five, and it's four out of the five. So shaded is four-fifths, and the unshaded is one-fifth. Teachers, don't freak out if your students swap these. It's not a big deal. And, But then the second part up here says decompose both parts of the number bonds into unit fractions. Well, this guy right here is already a unit fraction, so that means we just need to decompose this guy into unit fractions. So that's going to be one-fifth, 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 and one-fifth. And then you know we've done it right because you can count one-fifth, two, three-fifths, four-fifths, five-fifths. There's the whole thing. So the entire shape is present and accounted for. We don't need to do these other two. This is good enough. I think you guys understand that. And the last problem for this video. Johnny made a square peanut butter and uh, jelly sandwich. He ate one third of it and left the rest on his plate. Draw a picture of Johnny's sandwich. So we're going to begin. It says square. So let's try and draw a square. Pretty close. All right, and he ate one third of it. So we're going to cut this into three equal sized slices. And then the directions say shade the part that he left on his plate. So I'm going to draw in these the fact that these are all one thirds. And he ate one third of it, and he left the rest on his plate. So this is the part that he left on his plate. Um, and then shade the part that he left on his plate. That's what I did. And then draw a number bond that matches what you drew. So we got to draw a number bond. So we're going to start with the number one because that's the whole thing. And we can see that he ate one-third and he left two-thirds. Now the last question is, what fraction of his sandwich did Johnny leave on his plate? And this is the part that he left on his plate, which is two-thirds. And we kind of knew that because that was the number bond that we drew. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 8.